This video is an introduction to using workspaces in Synchro Pro. In this example, we'll use workspaces to coordinate the flow of trades on a project over the course of the look ahead window we're working on. So let's start by linking these workspaces to the relevant activities that use them. Now we can click on workspace and find the other ones uh, from the 3D objects tree or the resources tab where they'll be stored as location resources. And since the name of each workspace is contained in the name of the activity in that case, it can also be an activity code or a task user field, we can auto match them. So I can select all of these activities, go to assign resources, auto matching, and run this search. And it auto matched each workspace to two different tasks because two different trades use the same workspace. I'll assign all. And as an extra step, I can select all of the activities from the same trade and change the appearance profile so we can visually identify the traits as we're scrubbing through the focus time. I'll show you how this would look like. So as I move the focus time, I can see the flow of trades. And just by doing that, I can already see that um, in these instances, two trades are using the same workspace in, at the same time. But let's say you weren't able to visually spot that. You can run the automatic clash detection feature from Synchro. So if you go to Navigator, spatial coordination and we can create a new test i've done that before so i can remove my test and create one from scratch and we're gonna use the best dates so not a baseline we're gonna run it on the selected 3d objects so it won't find clashes outside of workspaces and that's it for now so we can make sure all of our workspaces are selected and go to spatial coordination and run our test. And then we get a clash detection uh, window, which can be exported as a PDF report. But we can just click here and see that, for example, for uh, B3 zone four, two tasks use that same workspace at the same time for the duration of four hours on this start date and finish date. And then similarly for B2 for a whole day and B3 for another day. So we can close down this window and delay the non-critical activity in our project. For example, we can delay this task uh, by a day. So we can go to links, add a lag for the finish the start relationship for the predecessor, and just hit reschedule. So we'll go to plan, reschedule. And now that they're pushed, we can try to visually uh, interrogate the schedule again. And doesn't look like there are any clashes. But let's run the test again just to make sure. So we can go to our spatial coordination test and use the restores 3D selection button. This way we won't have to remember what was selected the last time we ran the 3D test. And right click, run test. And there are no clashes that were found.